Conestoga College's Cambridge campus has undergone some recent changes in their parking lot, specifically their accessibility parking. Originally the building was, um, when it was being built, it was for a LEED designation, it's an L-E-E-D designation, and part of the components for that designation require certain aspects um, for the building, so environmental, um, exhaust from the building, um, all those types of things have to meet a certain criteria as well as parking. And so for the parking, it required um, almost 60 accessibility parking spots uh, in order to get that designation. This year, parking services cut down on a majority of these spots. So once we realized that we were allowed to adjust the amount of those accessible parking spots, um, we did. And so we've cut that back. I think now we have approximately 25. Um, and we have a combination of um, A size and B size. So a student who wishes to remain anonymous for security reasons spoke out about a ticket he had received, saying, I came to school and there was no spots available. I had no choice but to use the empty accessibility spot, but came out to a $200 ticket on my window. However, Parking Services has made clear the handicapped spots and who can and cannot park within them, also ensuring there is enough room for everyone. So far, we haven't reached our total capacity. There's been days where we've had um, events or visitors or um, high school students coming in for tours and that kind of thing where we've almost met capacity, where meet which in which we mean that all the stalls are used at one specific time. Mm -hmm. But because of the scheduling, the way um, our scheduling department organizes our classes, there's there's usually open stalls, so if some classes, some people only have classes in the morning and others in the afternoon, so there's a complete turnover of vehicles and there's always ample parking. For those hoping for more closer to parking spots, once the warm weather arrives, the lines will be redone. Yeah, so what happened was when we removed um, the accessible spots to allow for regular parking stalls, um, the frost had already hit, so we were able to take out the signage and that kind of thing, but we weren't able to properly uh, line some of the spots. We did our best, but you can still see some of the old lines. So in the spring, um, facilities management always has some summer students, and so they will be um, properly marking those stalls to indicate that there are regular stalls as opposed to an accessible stall. Students are encouraged to not look for the faded or solid markers on the road, but to pay attention to the signs above. For Spoke Online, I'm Brandi Fulton.